It's easier than ever to buy or sell items on apps and websites like OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace. But the price of convenience can come with a downside. In August 2018, Dushbril Sai went to buy a phone he found through the app OfferUp. He could tell me, I'm about to go meet up with him. I said, OK, be safe. Within moments of arriving to an airport area apartment complex, police say Sai was shot and killed, then robbed. His family devastated. It's good, nice boy. It's my best friend. Sai's case was one of 109 police reports last year involving buy-sell apps and websites like OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, Flippa, LetGo, Craigslist, and more. In 2017, there were 132 police reports, while 2016 had 111. The apps are so ubiquitous that uh, it's almost impossible to get rid of stuff that you don't want without using one, but you have to be careful. Police reports tell stories of people looking to buy or sell items, then getting robbed at gunpoint, even at public places like shopping centers and restaurants. Suddenly, victims have guns to their heads, are fired at, or their cash or merchandise is quickly grabbed. A report from March says a man sold a nightstand to someone through the app offer up without any problems. But then the buyer came back to his home with friends, kidnapped him at gunpoint and robbed him. I know it's happening. Um, it's not surprising, but um, it's it's hard. Robberies aren't the only crimes being reported. One woman said a man was going to come look at her TV in Cordova after she posted it on Craigslist. When he arrived, she told police the stranger kissed her on the neck, held her tight, and touched her on the butt in her private areas. It makes me nervous because I live by myself and you never know what per a person's intentions are when they uh, come to pick up something. Authorities recommend meeting someone in the daylight at a police precinct or heavily populated public place if you're going to do a sale. They say to take someone with you. Let family and friends know your whereabouts. Don't go or invite someone you don't know to a personal residence and do your research. Utilize social media to get a glimpse into someone's life. Or see how many mutual friends they have. That way, if I know if they're a real person, if I can contact some of my friends and then see about them. But some say the stories of what could happen are all they need to hear. No, I wouldn't just go off, you know, buying stuff offline like that. As some families now suffer the worst from it. He left this earth without saying goodbye. In East Memphis, Bridget Chapman, WRG News Channel 3.